Bison are some of the largest land mammals in the world, but don't let their appearance fool you. They are also incredibly agile, making them some of the most dangerous animals you could encounter. In this video, we'll dive into 30 encounters, ranging from a herd of bison wreaking havoc to a singular bison terrorizing an entire town. If you see a bison stampede heading towards you from a distance, you want to steer clear of them. These people, however, think keeping their car stationary in the middle of the road is the better option. Well, they're about to learn a very important lesson. Bison are extremely erratic animals in nature and will absolutely attack anything in their vision that they don't like. Sadly for these folks, their car happens to be one of those things as this 2,000-pound, 900-kilogram beast slams into it full force. Don't run into our car! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that sounded like an expensive impact. Sometimes you don't even have to be in the bison's way to provoke them. This big guy, for instance, seems to be grazing by the side of the road, but things aren't as serene as they appear because there's a car pulling up right behind. The bison doesn't like anyone invading its personal space, and that silver car is a little too close for comfort for it. So without skipping a beat, the massive beast springs into action and charges headfirst into the car. Oh shit. God, did he hit him? Yes, he did. What's fascinating is that the impact catches the bison off guard just as much as everyone else, as it freezes in its place and lets the cars pass by without further aggression. Getting close to bison while you're in a car is bad enough, but trying to approach these guys on foot? That's a death wish. These tourists don't seem to understand that, though, as they get dangerously close to these majestic beasts for a selfie. Ideally, you should stay at least 25 yards, 23 meters, away from bison and let them have their space. The tourists, however, aren't listening to the onlooker's warning at all and almost get within touching distance of the beasts. Oh my god. Don't! Are you... Dude, that thing will kill you! Thankfully, the warning was enough to stop the reckless tourist from making contact. After all, bison don't hesitate before attacking, and things could have gotten real nasty for these guys here. No, I ain't doing triage, you're right. Here's one of the most baffling examples of recklessness, as this tourist tries walking up to a massive wild bison all by herself, just for a selfie. The beast is three times her size, and she doesn't realize the danger she's in. What's crazy is that once the woman is done taking her photo, she comes back for round two, almost as if she wants to meet the Grim Reaper. But her luck has finally run out because the bison's had enough of her shenanigans. It should be game over for the woman once she falls over. However, the bison miraculously stops charging once she's vulnerable. And how does she repay that kindness? Well, by taking another photo of the beast, of course. She's either the bravest lady alive, or she has some divine protection because there's no other explanation for her behavior. This bison has been banished from its herd, and it now spends its days alone wandering the wilderness. 
The situation, however, has also made the beast extra erratic, as it's known to attack people in the area who get too close to it. The bison is minding its business looking for food until it spots the person recording it. Sure, he's far enough for the bison to not feel threatened just yet, but as we've learned, it doesn't take much to change that. The bison continues to slowly inch forward. However, when the person recording doesn't move out of the way, the beast gets offended and launches into a full-on charge. Here's another case of tourists getting a little too comfortable invading a bison's personal space as they approach these massive beasts just to take a selfie. But it all goes wrong real quick as the big guy starts charging them down. Keep going! Hey! Don't let the bison's size fool you, because they can run 35 miles per hour. 56 kilometers per hour, so you can't outrun them. To make matters worse, the tourist trips and falls down, opening the door for the beast to trample them. Make no mistake, this is a life and death situation. And yet, Lady Luck is on the tourist side because the bison stops in its tracks and stands next to her as other people tell her to play dead. Now, bison aren't inherently aggressive, so they won't attack you for no reason, which is also why playing dead isn't a viable strategy. Regardless, this big guy is bored of all the drama and leaves the tourist alone eventually. What do you do when you encounter bison on your snowmobile? According to these tourists, you stop and take photos. Now, we've seen this go wrong many times, but these guys are smart because they're using their bikes as cover from any potential attack. The bison don't look too bothered by the tourists and stand there waiting for the rest of the herd to catch up. However, it seems like there's some trouble brewing because the approaching bison don't look too happy. All hell breaks loose as the bison are reunited. In fact, the tourists' cover is compromised too since one of the beasts decides to move to the other side. Luckily, these big guys are only focused on each other and don't care about the tourists at all. Bison are some of the biggest land animals out there, and sometimes you have to see them in person to realize just how massive they are. And these tourists are finding that out right now, as they're shocked by the big guy passing next to them. Did just move real fast. <laughs> While the initial batch of tourists avoids the bison, it's now headed for the other group right behind, and that's where things can get real dicey. So doing the sensible thing, everyone starts moving back to clear a path for the beast. <laughs> Most tourists are enamored by the bison, taking photos from afar. One person, however, decides to get a little closer, which of course makes the bison mad as it jumps with rage. Thankfully, no one's hurt in the encounter.
Remember all those incidents of bison not liking people invading their personal space? Well, this guy didn't get the memo, because not only is he casually approaching a resting bison, but he's actually going to attempt to ride it. I'm your friend. Hi. The bison's clearly not pleased with the situation, giving subtle warnings to the stranger to back off. However, this guy isn't listening to any of it as he continues to insist that he wants to ride the bison. Can I ride you? Can I ride you? Oh! I just want to pet you. Can I pet you? The reckless tourist continues to disturb the poor animal despite its warnings. Honestly, he's lucky the bison isn't in a bad mood, because things could go very wrong. Regardless, the big beast isn't going to yield, and the tourist has to give up on his pursuit. You're not very friendly, are you? This man has made the grave mistake of getting out of his car right next to a bison. Because not only is the beast antagonized now, it can also easily attack the man, and, well, that's exactly what happens here. Okay guys, I can't point this out enough. Please do not go outside to the bo- The big guy could easily outpace the man and charge him. But despite the erratic and dangerous nature, bison don't just attack people for the sake of it. In fact, the only reason it's chasing the man down is to protect its calves. Animal. They will attack you if you go near the bisons or the buffaloes. The man doesn't seem to have learned his lesson though because he comes back for round two and tries to take another picture of the bison from close range. It's reckless and he's lucky the bison doesn't retaliate again. Please do not try to get near those animals. Let them have their peace. Thank you. You know what's utterly terrifying? A massive bison stampede heading directly toward you. These beasts at Yellowstone National Park have just been startled by someone honking their horn and now they're all running downhill. The scariest part of this stampede is the fact that no one knows where these bison are going to run, so no one in the area is truly safe. Tourists are rightfully running to save themselves. Thankfully, the bison aren't running towards the tourists and follow the path up the hill instead. Who knows how badly things could have gone had they barreled straight through the blockade. Driving next to a bison is always risky, because they don't like anyone getting close to them. So when this tourist sees one walking on the road, they have two options. Stop and wait, or pass quickly without antagonizing it. The big guy doesn't seem to mind other cars racing through, but that calm attitude isn't going to last for long, because the tourist slows down to film the big guy, which it doesn't like one bit, and, well, you know what happens next. <laughs> the tourists are lucky to get out of the encounter unscathed. Sometimes you can practice all the caution in the world and still get caught in a dangerous situation. This guy, for instance, is just observing bison from a distance when a calf decides to run up to him with its mom. Shit. Shit. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Hey, go away. Now, bison mothers are extremely protective in nature and will attack anything that gets close to their calves. So this guy is in grave danger, and he understands that as he keeps telling the calf to go away. Go away. You don't like me. You don't like me. Go away, please. No, your mom's gonna kill me. Go away. Go. He 
maintains his composure and doesn't make any quick movements that could threaten the bison mother. Instead, he starts his bike for a quick getaway, which also sends the calf running back. Hold on. Ooh, that was close. Here's another case of bison blocking the road up ahead, except this time the people filming are on snowmobiles. It's a tricky situation, because if the bison gets angry, it could easily knock someone off their bike. Holy shit! These guys know what they're doing, though. Plus, they have a bigger vehicle right next to them for extra protection. Now all they've got to do is carefully ride through and not get too close to the massive bison. Of course, that's easier said than done because the bison keep running around the area. To make matters worse, this big guy is in the mood to fight. However, the snowmobilers are smart and navigate around the bison. Bison going rogue at a national park is common because usually it's the tourists' fault. But what if a bunch of these guys turn up in town? Well, then the situation gets a lot more tricky. The bison are clearly threatened by the deep rumbling of all the bike engines, causing them to be aggressive. And that means the bikers can't just pass through either, so all they can do is try to rush their way through and risk getting attacked. Some of the bikers come within inches of being knocked over by the bison, but thankfully, most of them scrape through before the rangers arrive to control the situation. This bison has accidentally made its way into a town full of people, and even though it looks calm, it's not any less dangerous. After all, this guy is absolutely massive and could easily destroy a car with one hit. The townspeople know they shouldn't mess with the bison, so no one approaches him. Instead, everyone observes the majestic beast from a distance as the authorities pull up to deal with it. Thankfully, the bison's in a good mood because it retreats back into the wilderness without any incident. Here's a snowmobile tour trapped in a tricky situation. They've encountered a herd of bison trying to cross the road up ahead and there's no way out for the tourists either as they're surrounded by the big beasts. And speaking of bison in the park, this group of snowmobilers got a dangerous up close look at them, very close. The animals were on both sides of this group. The bison are getting extremely close to the snowmobilers, and as we all know, things can get real dicey if any of these bison lose their composure and start attacking the group. Bison were at times trying to cross through the line of snowmobilers. I don't want to hear this. The line of riders kept moving slowly as some of the bison. To make matters worse, the bison are also fighting amongst themselves, adding to the tension of the tourists. Panicking is the worst thing they could do in this situation, so they keep calm and move along slowly to get away from the bison. Move closer to them. What an experience. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Getting trapped amongst a group of bison is one thing, but these guys on snowmobiles are experiencing something even more terrifying as dozens of bison charge their way through inches away from them. Uh -huh. 
These tourists have zero protection in this situation since they're on snowmobiles. Besides, they can't really leave the road either due to excessive snow on each side, so all they can do is sit tight and hope a bison doesn't charge into them. And luckily, they come out of the encounter without any drama. What would you do if you saw a massive bison charging towards your car from a distance? Well, sometimes the best option is sit tight and watch as things unfold because any extra movement could cause the bison to get even angrier. Oh, guys, you can get off the road any place you want. <clears throat> oh my God. The big guy was probably spooked by one of the cars. It doesn't think the person filming is a threat though, so things calm down after that initial sprint and now it's a waiting game between the bison and the driver. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, don't push forward. I, was doing the first I, I think we should The driver does the right thing by not moving forward or revving his car. And well, after a few seconds of rest, the bison decides it's had enough and walks right past. This snowmobile tour group is lined up by the side of the road because of an approaching bison stampede. Now, these guys have to be extremely careful, as even a slight movement could make the beasts turn toward them. The tourists seem to know what they're doing though, as they line up on one side of the road and let the raging bison pass through. Sure, they're not safe with the animals getting so close, but that's all they can do right now. The bison stampede almost feels like it's never going to end. It's honestly impressive how so many of these majestic creatures can run together and stay organized, despite all the distractions on the road. Now let's switch gears to something a little more creepy, as this person, driving in the middle of the night, has just spotted something suspicious walking next to the road. It turns out it's a European bison, casually making its way through the woods. Of course, that's not scary if you know what they're doing, but animals can be on edge at night, making them a little extra erratic. 15 listopada cała trasa u was na, na Facebookowej, chociaż by stronie można sobie sprawdzić to, on będzie jeł ci biały stok, więc niech się pięknie gra. E, płyta jest tu. That's exactly what happens here, as the bison starts running across the road as soon as it spots the car. But hey, at least it didn't attack the person recording, right? Igor właśnie podpisał. Długo się tutaj jakoś zajmowaliśmy się rozmową, ale w końcu namówiłam do podpisania. 3, 2, 1. These tourists are trapped between a bunch of bison who have taken a liking to their car. They don't seem very aggressive, but you never know, especially when these big guys are this close to you. Um, I'm kind of shaky trying to film right now. Oh my God. <laughs> the tourists are absolutely terrified, and yet they can't believe their luck because not everyone gets to see these majestic beasts this close. Thankfully, the bison don't see them as a threat, and these people can recall this moment fondly. Hi. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. What? Holy is going shit. On right now? <laughs> Sometimes when you see yourself approaching a bison in the middle of the road, the best option is to stop and wait for it to clear the path. And that's exactly what's going down here, as these guys don't want the beast to attack them. They're not patient enough to let the bison go away though and start pushing forward without thinking. The beast is clearly threatened by their car, and things could go south very quickly here. Boy! <laughs> Boy! <laughs> Too 
Вот это конь. Luck is on the tourist side, as the bison isn't in an aggressive mood and lets the car pass through. After all, we've seen time and time again how these beasts love attacking anything that gets close to them. Here's a textbook example of why you shouldn't drive past a bison walking in the middle of the road. The driver ahead thinks he's got enough space to squeeze through, but he's invading the beast's personal space. I don't think that they're... See, they can't... Oh! No. Yeah, let's not mess let's, with him. Let's just stay here. After seeing the bison's aggression, the people filming decide to not only park their car, but also move back and wait for the big guy to leave. And honestly, that's the correct thing to do in this situation. Yeah, we're just not going to move. Behind you. What are you doing? I'm just backing up a little bit. He gave us the eye. Once they've given the bison enough personal space, it turns away and continues its walk. It probably won't let the driver overtake it again. And let's be fair, you don't want to anger an animal that weighs more than your car. I'm going to give him some space. He teed it that hard. Continuing the trend of bison walking on roads, here's another absolute unit casually making its way through some traffic. Most of the cars slow down or completely stop when they get close to avoid any incident with the bison. What's really fascinating, though, is the fact that people have cleared up the entire lane for the bison to walk, pulling their cars off the road, which goes to show just how terrifying these animals can be. If there's one thing we've learned about bison, it's that you cannot make them do what you want. So when this massive specimen steps in the middle of the road and stops the flow of traffic, no one can overtake it. А тут сидит такой чувак. Встречу нам идёт медведь. Ларис, пофоткаешь, может, нет? Ну чё? На, держи. Ну давай скорей. It's incredible to see everyone line up behind the bison and give it the respect it deserves. Even the person filming stops and watches in awe, even though there's plenty of space for him to drive forward. Imagine driving through snow-covered roads and spotting a gigantic bison approaching you and, well, the only thing you can do is stop and watch the majestic beast slowly walk by. The bison is covered in snow, but that doesn't seem to bother it one bit. After all, these animals are absolute freaks of nature and can withstand the harshest of conditions. Bison and traffic jams usually go hand in hand in national parks like Yellowstone. And that's what's happening here, too, as a herd of bison tries to navigate its way through traffic. <laughs> oh, you got insurance. <laughs> Big chunk of bison for in the front. It's not exactly easy for these 1,500-pound, 680-kilogram beasts to squeeze through, and so some of them do end up hitting the cars on their way. <laughs> there are dozens of bison here, and the herd takes a very long time to pass. But everyone's patient because, once again, you don't want to mess with these animals. Continuing on the theme of bison stopping traffic, here's another herd slowly navigating its way through traffic. The entire lane has been cleared for these beasts, and people on the other side aren't moving much either. 
no right to harm it or flash a light or push them away. The herd has bison of all sizes, and some of them are so massive that they almost match up with the big van next to them. And honestly, if one of them decided to charge into the van, it wouldn't stand a chance. Okay, uh, the bison herd like this and normally is lead by the female. Sometimes you don't even have to get close to a bison for it to feel threatened by you. This one, for example, sees the cameraman recording and decides to charge toward him. Thankfully, though, the cameraman knows what he's doing. That's not the only bison here, however, as there's an even bigger one following right behind. That said, the bigger one isn't bothered by the cameraman's presence and calmly walks by without causing any trouble. 